Okay. This is so, yes, I've done this before, albeit with a different GPU. This here, the GT730 by MSI, 3 gigabytes of DDR3. Can it still play games? It definitely is better than the GT610. I mean, that just that goes without saying, but the question is, can it play modern games? This thing costs like what, $50? requires no additional power from a power supply. So I figured, what the heck, let's plug it in to my PC, i7-860, uh, 10 gigabytes of RAM. It shouldn't have any bottleneck, and if it does, it's time for a new PC, and you better donate down in the description. But uh, all you can do is just install it, test it out, and see what it does. I'm gonna overclock the heck out of it, and gonna overclock the CPU. And we're just, we're gonna see just how much this GT730, this, what, three or four year old GPU can still do. This thing was low end when it released. <laughs> and by today's standards, just, ugh. Still an intriguing option for people on a very, very low budget. I know there are people out there who wanna build $100 PCs just to see what they can do. This is really your only option if that's something you're trying to do. So the $100 budget depends on these benchmarks. So can a GT730, a $50, $40 video card still play games? Let's see. With that being said, it's time to install this thing. It's time to overclock it and see what we can do with this thing. So, uh, let's go. And here's where everything went horribly wrong. No. In the arms of the angels, fly away from here, from this dark, cold hotel room. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. So can a GT730, a $50, $40 video card, still play games? Uh, no, it can't. Because it didn't fucking turn on. I'm very disappointed. I don't know what to say. That's what comes with buying used hardware. You never really know what you're gonna get, and... There are some instances where you can buy a warranty with old PC parts, and if you can do that, it does take some of the uh, uncertainty out of the equation, but when it comes down to it, this thing's 40 or $50. The benchmarks, uh, you know, if it did work, it wouldn't be worth it. Not for $50 or $40. You'd spend like 30 more, you got a GTX uh, 750 Ti, which doesn't require power connectors either, except the performance is way, 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 way better. Uh, I, I understand people are on very low budgets, but the difference in price to get something like this, uh, it, this, it just doesn't make sense. Even if you are on an extreme budget, I wouldn't recommend this GPU to really anybody unless you're just doing it for fun. So there you have it. No, it can't play games. Can't play games well. And, uh...